Welcome back guys, it's the Tightwad, and today I'm gonna to show you how to program your garage door remote to work with your garage door opener. This particular one is a Chamberlain LiftMaster system with a Chamberlain remote, but this applies to most garage door openers made after 1993. The first step in the process is to close your garage door. Make sure it is all the way down. The next step in the process is to remove the cover that's over your circuit board. So I'm going to remove this using the two tabs on either side. Once you've revealed the components here, you're looking for your learn or smart button. This particular one on the Chamberlain series is called a learn button, and Chamberlain uses purple a lot, but it could be other colors with other brands. You're simply looking for the button that says smart or learn to get the process started. There are different kinds of garage door openers. Some are smart, and some are not smart, or what I would call dumb. This one doesn't actually learn a code that works with your system. The system learns the code of your remote. This one simply emits a code and the learn button learns the code this is transmitting and makes this garage door opener work. You see that we have three different buttons on our garage door opener. I can program one, two, or three, all with garage doors or sometimes gates to properties or even gated entrances to communities. To program our remote, we're going to press and release the learn button. You'll see that an LED light illuminates and we have 30 seconds to program our remote. All I have to do now is push the button I want to program, let go. You'll see the light flash on and off, meaning that the remote is now programmed. It is just that easy. It will not mess up the programming of other remotes that are already working. This just simply learns a new code for this specific remote. Now that I have my remote programmed, I'm gonna push it to test to see if it will open my door. You see it does indeed work to open. You always want to also test and make sure it closes. One more thing I wanna share with you, and I have another video explaining this, is that you notice I have an LED bulb in my garage door opener. However, not all LED bulbs are created the same. These actually emit a frequency that interferes with some garage door openers. So if your garage door opener stops working or is intermittent, there are a couple of things you should try first. First, always change the batteries in your garage door opener. Second, see if you have an LED bulb. If you remove the LED bulb and put in one of the older style bulbs or buy the Genie brand LED bulb that is made to work with garage door openers, this could fix your problem. I just wanted to share that because you're probably here because your garage door opener is not working properly. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section below. You'll notice I have a few other videos related to garage door openers and even programming a keypad. If you click them, they'll open on your device. I hope you guys have a great day.